Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at why you don't need ozone on your hot tub and what you should use instead. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so before we get going, this video is really for if you're designing or building your own hot tub and you're looking at what components to actually put into it. If you've got a plastic shell hot tub with an ozone generator in already, leave it as it is you don't really need to be changing anything out let it do its job it will work totally fine so we're really focusing here on a diy or a new build hot tub and what components to actually put in and i'm going to look at why i don't think we need ozone in that mix okay so before we get into the nitty gritty uh please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button hit the notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I put two videos out in long form every single week and a whole bunch of shorts. And this channel focuses on DIY hot tubs, hot tub parts, plunge pools, and pretty much anything to do with hot tubs and plunge pools. So please do subscribe. It just gives me loads of motivation to keep making these videos. Okay, so I've said that we don't need ozone in a hot tub, but firstly, well, what is ozone? So ozone is a form of sanitation and it actually helps reduce the amount of chemicals that you need. It kills bacteria in the water and it makes it a, a much healthier experience. Ozone itself is created by an ozone generator and an, what the ozone generator does is it takes the oxygen in the air, so the O2, it actually passes that over a, a high electrical current, which splits the O2 into two separate atoms. Those atoms are then recombined to create O3, which is ozone. And that ozone is then introduced into the water. It has quite a short half-life. And in that process, it kills pretty much everything that it comes into contact with. So the end result is you know, pretty healthy water. So if all of these are benefits of ozone. Why am I saying that we, we don't actually need it in the hot tub? Well, actually, it's down to my own experience with ozone and the ozone generator. So way back when, when I was designing and building my own hot tub, I was advised to put ozone into the mix so that it could help with the sanitation of the water. Now, the way that you add the ozone to the system, it's pretty straightforward in, in theory. So you power the ozone off your spa pack, it just plugs in, again, okay, straightforward. Now you need to have a Hartford loop on the, the actual ozone generator, which again is pretty straightforward. You create a loop, you take it above the water line and it just stops water getting back into and damaging your ozone generator. So, so far so good. However, the way that ozone is introduced into the, the water is through a process of Venturi. So if you've watched other videos on the channel, it's the same process that introduces air into the water to make a stronger jet. In this case, we're passing water over a, a hole which connects to the ozone pipework, and that pipework then draws the ozone into the water as it passes by under pressure at high speed and it enters the water, it kills all the bad stuff and it makes the water a better place. Okay, so pretty straightforward. However, getting all of this to actually work, I, I just couldn't do it. And I tried and tried and all I ended up with was basically a leaky mess. So I never actually got the ozone generator to, to work. It just didn't work at all. Every time I connected the tubes, they would leak. You know, there'd be water all over my control room. So in the end, I gave up. It was a brand new, it wasn't even a cheap unit. It was a you know, $250 Balboa unit. It was a good quality one. It didn't work. It blocked up and I ended up cutting it out and replacing it with a straight piece of pipe, which funnily enough, never leaked. So my own experience with, with actually plumbing in the, the ozone wasn't a good one. And as such, I've never advised any of my customers to actually put ozone into uh, their own systems. I just think the, the process is overly complicated and I think there's an actual better technology that you can actually use. So what is the better technology than ozone that I'm suggesting? Well, it's actually UVC, so ultraviolet, and 
Ultraviolet can be used in the same way that ozone is to actually kill bacteria and the like in the tub. Now, the difference with a UV system is firstly, they're really, really easy to install. You just connect them in line with your plumbing system. It goes after your filter, just before you know, the water heads back to the hot tub, drop it in, in line, really, really simple. With UVC, you can't overdo things. You can't have too much UV. Oh, yeah, it's just light. So you, you don't have to worry about levels, about monitoring too much. Obviously too much ozone is a problem, whereas too much UV certainly isn't. So for me, UVC in the UV generating units are a much easier installation. In terms of cost, they're about the same as a UV generator, but it was just the ease of installation for me, definitely sways me over to UV versus ozone. Now, if you are gonna use UV in your hot tub, UV doesn't replace uh, an active sanitizer. So you do need to use it in conjunction with something else. If you're looking to go totally chemical free, then you can use it in conjunction with active oxygen tablets. Active oxygen tablets, you know, once a week, drop them into your tub works a charm, it will have nice clear water, it will be bacteria free because it's all passing over those UVC rays. So active oxygen and when combined with UV gives you a chemical free setup that I think is better than using ozone. Hopefully you found this video useful. As always, I appreciate the view. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.